Welcome to the HPE 3 PAR Management Pack installation. On our agenda, we'll be going through system compatibility, creating a least privileged user, installing the management pack, and configuring the adapter instance. First, visit our documentation at docs vmware.com and here you can search for true visibility suite documentation and it'll be the first link there on the left let's look for the HPE 3 par store serve and if we go to system requirements this will have the compatibility list and how to create a least privileged user. This one needs the browse role assigned. Now we'll log into the HPE 3 PAR. And if we click the lock icon at the bottom and go to create users, we can give it a username and password here. After we click Next, we can select our domain and our role. We needed the browse role. And we'll add it, click Next again, which will give us our summary, make sure everything's right, and then click Finish. Now, into the management pack configuration, we'll load up the VROPS UI. Under administration, on the left hand side, we'll pick repository. Down at the bottom of this page, you'll see the adder upgrade button. We'll hit browse and we'll go to our management pack that we've downloaded. There's two buttons here install the pack if it's already installed and reset default content. These are only going to be useful for an upgrade. After this uploads, uh, the next page will be the end user license agreement page. Once we check that box, it'll continue to the install. This part's been greatly sped up for the video. In your environment, this part will take much longer. We'll click finish. And then we'll click on add account under our adapter instance we created. There you can give it whatever friendly name you'd like. Let's give it the host of the three par we were just in. And then under credentials, you click the plus sign. For the SSL, no verify is probably going to be what you need unless you have to make sure this SSL is signed. There we'll type in our username and password we created. And then we'll hit validate to make sure everything went through. was a success. So we'll go to add. Under the advanced settings, we can modify the connection timeout if we need to. When you first connect it, it will show a warning until after the first collection. In less than five minutes though, it should turn green, which means everything's working. If you have any additional questions, please contact your VMware representative. Thank you.